editing is just another act of creativity. You know, it's another opportunity to take it up a notch. Sometimes you'll, you'll get in there, start editing, you look through the takes and you see something that maybe you didn't see when you were here on the set and you think, oh, I can use this or I can use that. I had, I had two great examples in season three. One was in Mr. Deity and the Virgin, Jimbo had a line that he was supposed to say, yeah, if you want to call it that. Yeah, if you want to call it that. We could not get him to say it that way. It was like pulling teeth. He would say, yeah, if you want to call it that. If you want to call it that. Yeah, I, I mean, if you want to call it that. Yeah, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Am I still going up? Yeah. We were probably on our, I don't know, 25th take. We call it that. Oh, mother. If you want to call it that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And he was so certain that he got the line right. And he was so thrilled. And I said, no, I'm sorry. And he does this little thing where he just goes, <sighs> and it's real frustration. It's something that's, that would be hard to capture in a performance unless the actor was really feeling that. And when I saw that, I thought, oh my God, that's fantastic. Prime Directive. Prime Directive. That's right. Did you see the new Star Trek movie, by the way? <sighs> One of my other favorite ones is just the look that he gave me at the end of Mr. Deity and the Promised Land. Who doesn't love my chosen people? There was a line after that that he was supposed to say. Where are you going? To get the list. But the look was so good, it was so intense and it was so real for so long that I thought, I can't, I can't go beyond this. We can't even use the end line.